So, you want to go camping once lockdown finishes, but not sacrifice that comfortable night's sleep. Well, stick around, have I got something of interest for you. Hello YouTube, and here we are heading into week 10 of lockdown here in Sydney. So today, after much travelling, I'm coming to you from my backyard. If you're new to the channel and don't know me, I'm Paul, and today I'm going to talk to you about an airbed. Mmm, he will say. And yes, I can understand, given the bad rep they've had. And ordinarily I might even agree with you, but bear with me. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Come on over here and I'll show you why. Okay, so what we have here is the best way, always air, queen size airbed for camping, or pretty much any sleeping situation really. It's perfect for camping, glamping, or even as a spare bed at home when you get visitors come around. You can see the bed laid out here behind me, but this little thing here, this is the brains of the beast. This is a fully rechargeable 12 volt battery and pump, but not just your average pump. It's actually a dual pump. That's right, two pumps in one. Let me explain. What we have is the main pump, which inflates the airbed. Then there's a secondary pump, which senses and keeps the airbed topped up to maximum pressure just silently kicking in during the day or night to add that little bit of extra air if or as required and it does so for up to seven days all on one initial charge. And before I forget to mention it, recharging of the battery is simply done with a USB cable much like charging your phone at home. And you don't necessarily need 240 volts either. You can do it at home, you can charge it in the car or you can plug it into your off-grid 12 volt power system. Now full disclosure I did say it does it silently, topping up, but to be honest, I have on occasion heard a very slight noise coming from it. Barely noticeable, and certainly nothing like the normal pump which fills it up, and not often either, which makes me think it depends on how solid a sleeper you are or, or how solid a sleep you're in. So, touching on full inflation, the manufacturer says it will fully inflate the bed in just three minutes, which is pretty quick. So just to be sure, I'm going to do a little time-lapse video test of that to confirm. Stick around till the end of the video to check it out and see just how long it takes. Now inflation is easy. All you have to do is plug the pack into the slot at the front, turn it on, and away you go. The Always Air bed is classed as a queen-size bed. And for those that need to know all the little details, it has dimensions of 2 metres long, 1.5 metres wide, and is 37 centimetres high, meaning there's plenty of room for two adults. The Always Air is made of a product called Fortec, a fusion of dense polyester fabric and PVC, making it extremely strong and durable. The maximum weight capacity of the airbed suggests just how strong Fortec is, that being 350 kilos. But even with that feature, I wouldn't be letting the kids treat it like a trampoline. Deflation is quick and easy. Just release the two clips on the top and the bottom and pull the battery module out and it instantly deflates. Then all you need to do is fold it up, slip it into the supplied carry bag and pack it away. Although some airbeds have had and do get a bad rap for deflating during the night, so far the Always Air and its 12 volt rechargeable dual pump system hasn't let me down, no pun intended which makes this an ideal airbed for any purpose, whether that be camping or as the ideal spare bed to have at home for surprise guests. Don't forget to watch the inflation time lapse at the end to see if it really takes only three minutes to inflate. Now, as mentioned, it's lockdown, so if you feel like a laugh, please check out my lockdown travel blues video. It's a short parody style music video about being stuck at home. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like button and remember to subscribe as well for more upcoming videos. After all, it's free to subscribe. And it'll not only help the channel grow, but encourage me to make a whole lot more videos. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the links at the end for more. Cheers for now, stay safe, and let's hope we all get out and about back into some adventure travels as soon as possible. And remember, when you can get away, do what brings you to life, go where you feel most alive. Cheers for now.